So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the hardware, the software, how to set it up, how to fix the graphical settings, how to fix stuttering and lag and all that stuff, even with a really cool task manager trick that you can try for yourself if nothing else works and go through the basics really. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, we're not going to talk about how to set this up wirelessly to your PC because that deserves its own video. But what we are going to be talking about is the cable side of things. So I'm hoping by now that you've actually run a benchmark to see whether or not your PC is actually VR ready. And if you haven't already, what you need to go do is go to Steam and download a free app called Steam VR Performance Test. It'll be available on the store. And what this will do once you run it is tell you if your system is ready. If that shows that your PC is not VR ready, then I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to stick with the Oculus in its standalone mode. If you've done that and it's all good, let's run into it. So let's talk about what you need to actually hook this up to the PC. With the Oculus Quest, you actually get this cable out of the box, but as you can tell, it's pretty short. So running with this USB-C cable isn't the best idea, unless you don't wanna move very far. <laughs> So my advice would be to go out and buy one of two cables, the first being the actual Oculus Link official cable, if you so choose to, or a third party cable like I have done right here. Before you pause the video and go out and buy one, you just need to listen to what kind of cable you need. Because there's a reason why the Oculus Link cable is about £90 in the UK. And this one here I bought was £32, okay? There's a reason why they're so expensive. And yes, this is nylon braided as well. It's a little bit stronger because I've got like a pulley system and it's going to be pulling it quite a lot and twisting it. It's a little bit better of a quality of a cable rather than plastic. Anyway, all the links to everything will be in the description down below if you want to go check out what I use for yourself. So now that I've talked about the hardware you need in order to connect up to the PC, let's talk about what software you need in order for them both to talk to each other. And what you need to go download is the official Oculus software. Again, the link will be in the description below. Once you have this installed, you're gonna have to have this open continuously whenever you want to play PC VR games. So once you have your USB cable plugged in, Press the on button, okay? And let's go do this, shall we? Come to this software right here. You come all the way down to the devices on the left-hand side, and right here, it should say Quest 2 and Touch, or it will say Set Up Your Device. And what we're gonna do is up here, it even says, would you like to set up your Quest 2? Sure, we'll set it up, and it should bring me to this right here. Connect your headset with the USB-C cable. Okay, click Continue. Now, if you don't see that option up at the top here, click on your device, and then scroll down to device setup down here. Click that and it should run just fine. Now when we get onto this point right here, it'll ask you to either continue or test connection. And it's important that you actually test connection in order to see how well your cable is going to run. Now the reason why the official Oculus Link cable is so expensive is due to its ability to transfer data at high speeds. So when looking at third party cables such as this, which is a third of its price, you need to make sure that this cable right here can transfer speeds at a relatively high rate. It'll turn off your Oculus headset and it will calculate how quick the actual cable is. If it wasn't able to start, very simply, unplug it and then replug it again. Let's try again, and it works. If it doesn't work once again, then there might be a fault with the cable or the headset itself, and that's a completely different issue altogether. Once this is finished, it'll say compatible connection, maybe a limited connection and a bad connection in itself. And this bandwidth right here is 2.8 gigabytes per second. And that's what I mean by the data transfer speed. And it's got to be connected into a USB free port on your computer. Now that's very important because if you don't connect it into a USB free port or higher or USB C port, the data transfer speeds are just not quick enough, especially for USB 2.0. So you've got to make sure it's connected into that in itself. Once it's happy with it, click continue and your Oculus Link setup should be complete. Hopefully you're still with me at this point. If all you want to play is Oculus Rift or Oculus Quest 2 games from your PC, you are pretty much done and you don't need to listen to this next section right here. The next section is going to be about Steam VR and how to set that up. This is Steam VR. It's available through the store of Steam itself. All you need to do is come up to the top right corner, type in Steam VR, click OK, and then scroll down. And it's pretty much where it says very positive, very positive. You want the developer to be Valve. And then all you need to do is play a game, download it. It'll probably say download for you and it should be in your library right here. Now, of course, there's two ways to activate it. You can just click launch through there or on your headset what should happen at this point right now i've already got it up as a shortcut on the left hand side over here there should be the library and then you click that and it should show it 
on this screen right here. All you need to do is activate through that. It should load up saying loading and then eventually change into this right here. The actual Steam VR version and stuff. Well, I just beeped. So it beeped to me. <laughs> there we go. And it's open to this. Excellent. When you load up Steam VR, this little box here should load up saying that your headset is active and your controllers are active as well. And pretty much at this point, you are set up. You are ready to go and you're ready to play Half-Life Alex, Beat Saber on the PC, any Steam games that are VR compatible on your system right now. And you don't really need to do any more. That is literally what you need to do. Now, we've gone through the hardware, we've gone through the software, we've gone through uh, the setup, we've gone through the Steam VR and how to get that up, okay? Now we're on to the graphical part. And this is where I need you guys to listen and put your thinking caps on. To put this very simply, the Oculus Quest is two main areas technically free areas that you can change settings about. And if you don't do it right, things can get messy very, very quickly. But when it comes to PC VR games, the Oculus Quest 2 requires power. And that's drawn by your CPU, your GPU, your RAM. And not all systems can accommodate what the Quest 2 is asking for. And it's gonna be different for everyone. People come to this video might be after higher specs, lower specs, medium specs, okay? So I'm just gonna equate to the medium default settings and how to make it smoother. So let me just run this situation for you. You know the Oculus Quest runs at a native 3,664 times 1920 resolution total at 72 hertz. And you know that the Quest 2 can go up to 90 hertz. What you need to do is come over to the Oculus software, go down to devices and click here. Down here, you can see advanced and graphics preferences. This is where you can change the refresh rate. Now, if you don't know what refresh rate means, refresh rate basically indicates how many times per second your screen refreshes. The higher the amount, the smoother it's gonna look, but the more system power it's going to require. So if your system can handle it, bump it up to 90, but leave this automatic random recommended thing alone for now. If it can't do it and you'll notice that it can't do it, put it on 72 or 80, whichever one works best for you. If you're experiencing issues at the lowest setting at 72 Hertz and you know your computer can do it, why is it still laggy? And you'll notice stuttering, okay? You'll notice it when you're in VR. When you put the headset on, you'll feel weird. It'll be everywhere. It'll, 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 you'll notice when your games are stuttering. Trust me, you'll just notice it. It's there, all right? <laughs> Rather than coming onto this screen right here, clicking off automatic and then start changing this slider to bump up the resolution because what you can see here when i go down to refresh rate and change it it actually bumps up my recommended resolution which this might change from system to system because my graphics card is a certain graphics card which means it can do 4128 resolution at this refresh rate it might be different for you this might be lower because as you can tell this is actually higher than the original resolution that the quest can output at so that's obviously upscaling and putting out a sharper picture okay but when i go back down on basically higher refresh rate in order to give the smoothest experience this is obviously changed from 4100 to 3600 giving a less sharp of an image this here you can actually turn this off and start bumping this down to give different outcomes okay leave it alone for now because there's something that i'm going to show you right now that's actually solved the stuttering and lagging issue for me and you probably haven't heard about it before. If you have, great, awesome, but I'm just saying. All we're needing to do is change the priority of a certain system task. Let me show you how that's done. So what we need to do, come down to the bottom, right click on this taskbar, bring up task manager. If you know a different way to do it, there's like control shift, escape, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And that will bring up your task manager, what's running in the background. This obviously will be different for everyone, but what you need to do is literally scroll all the way down until you see something called OVR server x64.exe. If you don't see that, make sure your Oculus Quest is on at the time. If you still can't see it, honestly, Google it. Google can be your best friend with me right now, okay? If you don't understand what I'm saying, Google what I'm saying. I know I'm not trying to explain everything, 
but I'm trying my best to explain everything at the same time. So Google it. If you can't find this OVR server and you don't know why, and I haven't explained why, Google why and come back, okay? Now what this is, is pretty much the cable connection. Right click it and go to details. This will bring you to a different page and it'll bring you all the way here. Still highlighted, server X64, right click it again, go down to set priority and this should be on normal. Okay, it should already be on normal. Change it to high. Now what that will do, okay, if you're experiencing stutters and lags inside of the Oculus Quest itself, when it's connected up to the PC, your computer is doing a million different things at once and you don't realize what it's doing, but it's doing a million things at once. Setting the fact that your link cable, third party or the actual official link, the cable that's connected to a higher priority will tell Windows to basically go, yup, you need to focus on this cable. We want the best results through this path. Don't side quest it. If I've got something else running that doesn't need to be running at that priority, I want this cable right here to be up there. Okay, and that's what it does. And that's generally fixed most of my issues that I was having with the Oculus Quest when plugged into my PC. I thought it was my GPU, I thought it was the Oculus, I thought it was the cable. It's none of those, okay? It's just the priority that you list at. So that should fix the issue. If that still doesn't fix the issue, I'm not really sure what would, apart from the fact if you go back to the Oculus Quest software, which is here, and then go down to the graphics preferences, make sure that's on 72, turn the automatic rendering scale off, and then turn this down to the bottom, see if it works well. If it does, excellent. And then just try and bump this up, keep saving and restarting, keep saving and restarting, all that good stuff. That's honestly what I would suggest. The final place that you want to come to to change up your resolution, your settings, is through Steam VR itself. When Steam VR starts running, you can go to the left hand side here and go to settings, which is here. This is one way to access the settings menu, but we're just going to focus on it inside of the Oculus Quest itself. What you need to do though is come down to the bottom right hand side and go to settings. This refresh right here will match whatever you put down on your Oculus official software. That's why I said go there first if you want to change the hertz, okay? Because you got to change it here. If you don't see half this, go to show advanced settings. If you come down to video right here, what auto will do is the exact same as what auto will do on the Oculus software. You know, when it was like 1.1, 1, 1 1.2, 0 0.9. If you change this here, it will automatically go to where this little white line is, which for this is 130%. Auto will put it 130% where that white line is. That's fine. But if you're experiencing jutters inside of certain applications, let's say you play a VR chat, it doesn't do it. But when you play No Man's Sky, it does do it. You can click here and you can turn this down itself. I would say go to about anywhere between 70 to 90 if you're experiencing issues, okay? You don't need to change anything else. That's pretty much what it's going to do. So you can do it individually for games or you can literally go down and then turn this down to whatever you want down here for the whole thing. That is only if you're having issues inside of games and some games are higher resolution. To be honest, with a lot of games, the in-game settings will make a big difference in itself. And this really should probably be just left on auto. Now here, advanced super sampling filtering. I leave this on auto, just leave this on auto. Whew, are you having fun yet? <laughs> It's complicated. It's complicated. It is difficult. It is difficult. It is hard indeed. And to be honest with you, it's a couple of days after I filmed that because I wanted to spend the time to really go through it, be concise, be informative, and really make sure I got to the point quickly for you guys. And in all honesty, there was about an extra hour worth of footage there because I went on to record a lot about how to use Oculus Mirror, Steam VR Mirror, and how to stream using the Oculus headset and how to kind of like display what you're seeing and the best settings to use through OBS. So if you really want to see that and you want to see like an informational guide of how to do that and how to really stream with your headset, let me know. I'll happily put it up in this channel. But thank you very much for spending the time watching this. If it did help you, excellent. Hopefully that task manager trick helped you as well, as well as guide you through little bits of how to change some stuff if you're experiencing issues yourself. Uh, really go through the process as a whole. So thank you very much for spending the time doing that. I know it's a little bit different than my usual content on this channel, but I appreciate you sticking by. All the best, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.